So today we have a Mercedes S205. I'm gonna do some uh, some shocks. Yep. Pretty easy. Tools needed right over here. 24 millimeter wrench. Uh, 21. Uh, brass um, knockout tool. Um, an arm, a helper. To uh, just push it a little bit down, which you can do it by hand. And just a hammer. And 17 millimeter for the wheel nuts. Bam. Oh, what do we see here? It has a little bit of damage. It's been turned in uh, incorrectly. Come on, come to Papa. Yes, you are. If you can get it off, just pull it with this hand and tap it with this hand so it's hop 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 it goes like this hop. there we go hop. if it's really stuck on there and this is the problem this is dirty this is dirty aluminum steel not very good buddies ah. and they're on top of each other so Gonna fix it. Ah, quick fix. Just grab a little uh, wired wheel. Maybe a little bit of radio. Yep. Yep. That's clean. We take some uh, anti seeds. Yep. Oh, it's a dirty boy. It's a dirty, dirty boy. Yep, there we can see the little bit of damage on the in the holes. We'll fix it later, no problem. Um, so now we can put some anti seats, a little bit, not uh, too much because sometimes it's on there and uh, it's really like a kilo, a pound of uh, anti seats on there, two pounds. Is one kilo. No, two pounds and a, a bit, that's one kilo. Up, just a small light coating and there we go. Life just is a bit easier right now. Up, so. Oh, the other tool we'll need is of course uh, a clamp. This is an old one, still functional. And uh, one extra, you can do it with this one also, if you have to. Um, this one I use just to uh, be safe. If something would happen and there's backup, up, backup clamp. So now we all, all that we have to do, it's a pretty easy one, I'll uh, show you. Um, you have to loosen this one. That's a 24. So, and the other side, this one. 
So that's 21. Uh, we'll give it a quick. Um, yeah, a quick hit by hand. Yep, uh, it's coming. Ah, oh, it's loose. Um, luckily, I have the Milwaukee tool laying around. Oh, here, right up here. Oh. Yes. Come on, Glenn. Yep, and the 24 on the other side. So just wait a bit. I'll show you that. Yep, take it off. Now just use a. Uh, I use this one because it's handy. It's uh, difficult to put on, so I just put it on the... We're not going to put a lot of force on, on that, so I'm going to put it on uh, the steering rod and just gently pull it down. You see already the bolt is loose, so we, I can actually I can pull it out with the correct down force by hand. Hup. Magic. So together Hup. we don't even need uh, to tap it out uh, yep it's always the case if you work correctly uh, it's easier so then we need to unclip the plastic uh, cable holder right over there just undo this tap Hup. press it in it should be all right there you go just put it over here do not forget to put it on afterwards like this somewhere yeah. so we can uh, pull the shock forward and then move it to this side with a oh, we we'll have to press it down a bit you can just press here you see but i have the handy dandy tool so and that's it it's free already now on top we have a uh, 16 uh, uh, we have the yeah i already did the other side just uh, some plastic uh, some plastic uh, screws and oh it looks like it's free it's a bit dip more difficult here but Look, the little 16 millimeter nuts on there. Go ahead and loosen them. Up. You can do it by hand, so I always tighten them by hand. Um, but for now, I'm gonna use the Milwaukee. It's faster, easier. <laughs> 